What's up guys? I just wanted to do a quick video on healthy foods that you can keep in your dorm room. Um, as a college student, it's super tough to find foods that are like time convenient, cost convenient. Um, you can cook with only having a microwave. So I just will, you know, take you guys through, show you what foods I like to keep in my dorm room, and maybe that'll give you some ideas and help you out. So first I just want to take you through super quick and show you the organization. This I got from the container store, and it's just these little stackable crates, and that's where I like to keep most of my food. And then I do keep, like, some supplements, protein powders, um, some other teas right here. And then over here is just my microwave and fridge. So I'll show you in here. That's where I keep that stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to start by showing you guys all the foods I keep in my fridge. Um, so we'll start out with this coffee creamer. I freaking love it. So last semester, I was going to the Starbucks on my campus all the time and getting way too many caramel macchiatos. <laughs> and that was just not a good idea. So this is awesome. Um, a tablespoon is only like 10 calories, one carb. So, really, really good for, like, making, you know, coffee in your dorm room. Um, another thing would be almond milk. So, 30 calories for a cup. This is just the original unsweetened. Um, you know, I use that for, like, protein shakes or what else? Mainly, like, protein shakes. Um, <laughs> I do like to keep, uh, you know, like, vegetables in my dorm room. So typically, if I have time, depending on my class schedule, I'll try to go to the grocery store off campus about once every week, maybe once every two weeks. Um, but right now I just have some broccoli and then some sugar snap peas, which I have not had yet. Um, another thing that I like to keep is these little Baby Bell light cheeses. They're really good. I think they're like three fat, yeah, three fat, six protein. Um, so those are like a really good, you know, snack or eat it with something else. Um, egg whites. So I'm not one of those people that thinks you should have, you know, egg whites over eggs. But I don't like, this, this might sound really dumb, but I don't like cracking eggs in my dorm room. It just feels like a lot of work and it's just messy. So I just like to stick with the egg whites because it's a lot easier. <laughs> um, another food that I like to have is turkey bacon. Um, as you can see, I've already had a lot of this. I had some with my breakfast this morning and it is so good. So I don't know about you guys, but I live really far from the dining options on campus, so I eat breakfast in my dorm room pretty much every morning. Um, so turkey bacon is definitely a go-to. This is just some roasted turkey. Um, this I might have with like you know the baby bell cheese as a snack, or sometimes I will uh, like chop this up and mix it in with my egg whites and make like a scramble in the microwave. Um, this is one of my most favorite things. It's the Trader Joe's chicken. And I only have one left. I'll show you. They come in these little, like, individual packages. So you can just, like, microwave it. It's super easy. Um, that's one of my favorite dinners if I'm, like, staying in. Um, another thing I like to have is these Greek yogurts. So I have blueberry, which I have not had yet. And then banana cream, which is so good. Um, I used to try to stay away from, like, all the flavored yogurts. And I thought that, like, the plain, unsweetened, like, plain, plain Greek yogurt, you know, was, like, the only kind you should have. But I've just loosened up a little bit, honestly. And, like, this is 9 carbs and 12 proteins. This one is also 9 carbs and 12 proteins. So, you know, it only has 7 grams of sugar. They're only 80 calories. So, honestly, they taste so much better than, like, the plain Greek yogurt. So, that's what I go with these days. Um, something else, sriracha. As you can see, I've already used a lot of this. And I just bought it, um, again, at the beginning of the semester. So, this I put on 
everything. I put it on my vegetables, I put it on my chicken, I put it on my rice, put it on my egg whites. Um, so a tablespoon is five calories. Like it's the ultimate condiment. Um, so that is definitely a go-to. Um, another condiment that I use is like salsa. Um, this one is five calories, two tablespoons. It's just two carbs. Um, so this is really good to put on like black beans or to put on your chicken or something like that. It's just, you know, something else that's super like low calorie, but you know, kind of spices it up. Um, this I'm almost out of, so I need to buy another one, but it is just the, uh, no sir, almond butter, creamy. It's amazing. Um, I've been mixing in about half a serving of this into my oatmeal in the morning and it is so good. Um, the last thing that I like to keep in my fridge is just blueberries. So depending on, you know, like what the grocery store has available, I might do blueberries, I might do blackberries. Um, it just kind of depends, but I like to keep fruit in my fridge. So now let's get into all the foods that I keep over here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my non-refrigerated foods. So just to start you off, this is my oatmeal that I have pretty much every single morning. Um, it's just the Quaker Original Oatmeal, 100 calories. I love that. Um, this is some Lara Bar granola. And I'll show you this as well. It's the woo, Be Kind Dark Chocolate Mocha Almond. So both of these are not the best macros. They're pretty high in fat, honestly. But, you know, it is good maybe if you aren't having a lot of other fats um, with that meal or something. So those both taste delicious. Um, these are just my s'mores quest bars. This is some, uh, almond butter plus chia. So I just picked this up yesterday at Fairway and, uh, I'm really excited to try it. So I haven't done that yet. Um, something that's similar is the peanut butter and company white chocolate wonderful. This stuff is seriously amazing. Obsession does not even begin to describe my relationship with it. Um, 14 fat, 11 carbs, 6 protein, so yeah, it is kind of a higher in carb um, as far as like a nut butter goes, but guys, white chocolate wonderful, this stuff is amazing and so worth it. Um, this would just be something that I would definitely measure out. Um, these are some 18 rabbit granola bars, uh, the mango strawberry, so this is 4 fat, 20 carb, 2 protein. So, you know, a lot of people want to know, are granola bars healthy, are they not healthy? You just have to look at the macros and take it for what it is. So, this is mainly carbs. So, you know, if you're going throughout your day, you're, you know, really just in a time crunch, you're going to class, you don't have time to get a lot of carbs in, you know, this is a good option. Um, something similar is the Trader Joe's Apple and Coconut Bar. Only ingredients are apples and coconut. Again, the macros are mainly carbs. Um, but something else that I do like to keep in my backpack. Um, one of the staples in my diet would be just these little tuna packets. So we have the plain and then one of the flavored ones. The macros on this one obviously is a little bit higher in fat, a little bit higher in carbs than the plain, but these actually taste really, really good. Um, some other proteins is this Trader Joe's canned chicken, and this is some... Target uh, Simply Balanced Canned Tuna. And then I have one more. Okay, I found it. Um, my other uh, canned chicken. <laughs> um, this is something that I like to have with those a lot. It's the Simply Balanced Rice Crackers. So I'm not too big on snack foods. I think you can be filling your diet with things that are like more filling than like crackers and that type of stuff. Um, but I do like to have small meals of, you know, maybe like this, the tuna, maybe a Baby Bell cheese. So... I do like these. Um, this is just a big thing of rolled oats. So honestly, the single serving oatmeal is a lot more convenient for me, but I do have this as an option as well. Um, this is some cooking spray because that microwave cooking gets pretty intense. So it's just the olive oil kind. Um, it's the uh, organics uh, stop and shop brand. So that's good. Um, this is some Quaker rice cakes. These are super cheap. They are 
Um, only 35 calories each, so I like to have a couple of those with, you know, maybe like tuna, almond butter, something like that. They're really good. Uh, this is a staple of my diet, minute rice, 220 calories, 4 fat, 41 carbs, 6 protein. I have one of these almost every single day. Um, this is like what it looks like. It's like single serving size. So those are awesome. Um, these are the Go Raw Ginger Snap Cookies, and I have these because my mom actually just sent them to me in the mail. Uh, but they're actually pretty good. So this is just an apple. Um, Honeycrisp apple because, duh, those are the best. Um, another kind of staple in my diet is like canned black beans. A uh, little tip, make sure you have a can opener because the first time I bought these, I realized I did not own a can opener. Um, but these are awesome. I love to mix it with like salsa and like chicken and make a meal like that. Um, these are some sliced almonds. They're great to throw in like yogurt or something like that if you want to add some fat and some crunchiness. Um, this is some Trader Joe's organic pumpkin. It's just 10 carbs, 4 fiber, 4 sugar, 1 protein. Um, so it's pretty versatile. You can mix it in with a lot of stuff. And then pretty much all I have left is like some different drink options that I like to have. So one is just plain green tea. This is a Trader Joe's brand. I love green tea. I think it's really good for you. Um, this is some instant coffee. Don't hate. Instant coffee is actually really good. And this is the Starbucks uh, Columbia medium roast. So I really like that. Uh, something that I like to put in my coffee sometimes is just this Target uh, French vanilla sugar-free coffee syrup. So, you know, zero calories if you want to add some vanilla. Um, another option for coffee, I just got this, it's the Folgers Ice Cafe Caramel Macchiato. So what you do, or what I did, is just mix this in your almond milk, and it kind of makes an iced caramel macchiato. Um, definitely does not taste like a regular iced caramel macchiato, but it's only 10 calories, so, you know, I might be having that every once in a while. Um, this is some... Sleepy Time Tea, it's the Republic of Tea. This stuff is so good. It's got like orange, spearmint, chamomile. Um, it just tastes amazing. I love it. And then the last couple things are just little Mio's. So good zero calorie drinks. And then emergency. Um, especially as a college student, you know, a lot of people are always sick on campus. So this is really good to get your vitamin C. So now you guys can check out just a couple supplements I keep up there. This is my food scale. Um, I definitely don't track every single meal every single day, but it is nice to have. Um, just for when I do want to track to make sure that I kind of know what I'm getting. Um, as far as supplements go, Super HD by Solucor. I absolutely love this. Um, sometimes I like to take this as a pre-workout. And then sometimes I like to just drink it in the morning to kind of get me going. Of course, I have to have C4. Um, I was almost out of this one, so of course I had to pick up one of the new ones and try that out already. So I just have a little bit of this left still that I have to finish up. Um, and then for protein, MTS, Gourmet Mint, Cookies and Cream. Um, honestly, guys, this is the best tasting protein I've ever had in my life. Um, and then just two more teas. So that is it for up here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out and gives you some ideas of healthier options you can keep in your dorm room.